Hi everyone! I am Hannah. Welcome back to my vlog. And I came from ABM 11 YA-6. And today, I'm just wondering why you're here. Well, are you having a hard time answering and solving math problems? Specifically, fraction and multiplying and dividing it? Well, if so, I'm a perfect match for you. So in today's episode, we will be discussing about fraction in multiplying and dividing it. So, without further ado, let's get started. First, what is fraction? Fraction is a numerical quantity that is not a whole number. It is part of the whole. So in the basic examples, we have here one half and three fourths. The shaded parts are what we call numerator and the other half that is not shaded plus the shaded parts are what we call denominator and that is what makes them a fraction. Now, you may ask, how do I multiply fractions, Hannah? Well, stay tuned and I will explain it for you. What is 1 8 multiplied by 3 over 14? In the easiest explanation, you only must multiply the numerator to numer numerator and denominator to denominator, regardless of whether it is a proper fraction or improper fraction. You must follow numerator to numerator, denominator to denominator. So, 1 times 3 over 8 times 14. So, in this example, we must multiply 1 by 3, so the product is 3. Now, we must multiply 8 by 14, then the product will be 112. So, our final answer is 3 over 112. Very simple, right? Next, what is 5 over 45 to be multiplied to 80, 8 over 19? So, my common factor ang 5 and 45, which is 5. So, we have 2 divided by 5. 5 divided by 5 is equals to 1, and 5 divided by 45 is equals to 9. Times, bring down 8 over 19. And then, let's proceed in multiplying numerator to numerator and denominator to denominator. 1 times 8 over 9 times 19. 1 times 8 is equals 8. And 9 times 19 is equals to 171. So, our final answer is 8 over 171. So, now, after we finish on multiplying the fraction, you may now ask, how do I divide fractions, Miss Hannah? Well, stay tuned and I will sh also show you examples for you to understand better. Ayan, so magproceed na tayo sa example number 1 sa division. So, 2 over 48 divided by 6 over 72. So, the first thing we have to do is to reciprocate the numbers. So, let us bring down 2 over 48 divided by 72 over 6. So, since my factor or common factor ang 72 and 6, which is 6, we have to divide it by 6. So, 6 divided by 6 is equals to 1. And 6 divided by 72 is 12. So, Kung gagawin natin simple form yan, magiging 12 over 1. Since, so, since mag-multiply mag pa tayo, huwag na muna. So, let us bring down 2 over 48. However, may common factor sila na 2. So, i-divide natin yan. 2 divided by 2 is 1. And 2 divided by 48 is 24. So, now let us proceed in multiplying them. Let's follow numerator to numerator. Equals 1 times 12 over denominator 24 times 1. So, 1 times 12 is 12 and 24 times 1 is 24. So, since may factor or common factor pa sila na 12, we have to divide it by 12. So, 12 divided by 12 is 1 and 24 over 12 is 1 half. Ayan ang final answer. Now, let us proceed in our next example. 4 over 7 divided by 14 
over 2. So, first, let us check if they have the common factor. So, 14 over 2 has a common factor of 2. So, we have to divide it by 2. So, 14 divided by 2 is 7 over 2 divided by 2 is 1. So, 4 over 7 has no common factor. So, we have to bring that down. So, 4 over 7 divided by 7 over 1. However, we have to reciprocate. So, that will be 1 over 7. So, multiply 4 times 1 over 7 times 7. So, 4 times 1 is equals to 4 over 49. 7 times 7 is 49. So, our final answer will be 4 and 4 over 49. And now we have reached to the final and ending of our example. Siyempre, hindi ko kayo hahayaang hindi ma-experience kung paano nga ba i-apply ang division and multiplication ng fraction kapag word problem na. So, listen and relax yourself at kalmahan lang natin para maintindihan ninyo. So, let's proceed. So, our problem is, if Manny can make 8 cupcakes in 3 hours, how many cupcakes can he make if he will bake in 12 and 3 fourth hours? First, let us identify what are the given. So, ang given natin sa problem is 8 cupcakes per 3 hours. And then, 12 and 3 fourth hours. So, ask is how many cupcakes, okay? How many cupcakes? And then, ang, so, ang operation na need natin is division and multiply. Multiplication. Ayan. And then, now let's proceed on solving. Of course, we have to divide 3 hours to 12 and 3 fourth hours. So, we're going to bring down 12 and 3 fourth hours divided by 3 hours. So, first, let's make it into improper fraction. So, we have to multiply this denominator to the whole number and then add the numerator. So, 12 times 4 is 48 plus 3 is 51. So, 51. Bring down the denominator of 4 divided by 3 and then bring and then put tayo ng 1 dito para maging fraction siya and then proceed on reciprocal. So, 51 over 4 Divided by 1 over 3. So, let's multiply that. 51 times 1 over 4 times 3. So, 51 over 12. Now, ito, hindi pa siya natatapos dyan kasi ask is how many cupcakes? So, now, let's proceed on multiplication now. 51 times over 12 and multiply it by 8 cupcakes kasi yun daw ang nagagawa niya per 3 hours. So, 8 cupcakes, lagyan natin siya ng 1 para maging proper fraction. And then, proceed on multiplication. 58, 51 over, times 8 over 12 times 1. So, this is going to be 4, 8 divided by 12. Then, gawin natin siyang simple form kasi ano pa sila ng 12. So, 408 divided by 12 is equals to 34 cupcakes. So, ang answer is 34 cupcakes ang magagawa niya kapag nag-bake siya ng 12 and 3 4 hours. Well, may natutunan ba kayo? If so, I will be flashing some sample problems to be answered by you. And then, you can comment your answers on the comment below. And let's check if tama yung naging sagot nyo. Example number 1. What is the product of 2 5th and 8 over 15? Number 2. Give the quotient when 3 over 78 is divided to 12 over 19. So for example number 3. How many cups of chocolates are needed if Mary bakes 6 cupcakes and each cupcake needs 1 and 1 third cups of chocolates? And that's it for our today's video and I hope you learned something about our topic. Great, ganito lang kaliit. Chari! But I do also hope that you leave your answers down below in our comment section and don't forget to hit the like, share, and subscribe button on our YouTube channel. And oh, let us always remember that mathematics is about insight, not just about numbers. That is a saying from Richard Hamings and 
see you again on another video tutorial. Bye!